Hello farmers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's going up to one week now that I drop your video here on our YouTube channel. I've been busy with a lot of things, that is why I'm not dropping you videos. Thank God I'm fully back. So today I want to give you a full lecture, a full teachings about crackhead. Crackhead usually doesn't happen in catfish business, but there are some things that cause it. So in this very video, I want to tell you the cause of crackhead, how to prevent it, and how it will affect your livestock if you are not careful. How to treat it may be in another video because uh, after my experience, I made a lot of uh, research and you know, a lot of people will bring up their experience, bring up what they know about the sickness. So I get a lot of ideas from people, you know, this one will talk, this is the cause, this one will say that is the cause, this one will say that is the cause. But in this very video, you are going to know the real cause of crackhead, how dangerous it is, how it will affect your catfish business, and how you can prevent it. It is treatable. I said in the video earlier, one of the video I dropped last, that the sickness is not treatable, but the sickness is treatable. One thing about it is you may lose up to 5 or 10% of your catfish before they could listen to your treatment. You know, this thing have already affected them. So there is no how you want to do. Some will die. Some that are badly affected will die before the others respond to treatment. And treatment will only help you to get rid of this sickness as fast as it can when you detect it at early stage. If you do not detect this crackhead at early stage, there is no how you are going to treat them that they will respond to treatment as fast as you want and how can you know how can you quickly detect it you can detect it through their heads their forehead you will see it there will be a kind of reddish line number one there will be a kind of reddish line number two you are going to see the middle of the skull it may not be reddish but it will swell up like a crack that side that crack side will swell up like this thing wants to bust out, like it wants to break. You will quickly detect them in concrete tank and tapoli pond. To detect them in netting pond is a little bit difficult, especially when your water is not clean enough. Before we continue, if you are new here, this is Adota Farm. What we talk here is all about agriculture. We discuss livestock, then we talk about crop. Livestock have a lot to do with poultry farming, fish farming, and uh, pig farming, goat farming, and lots more. So, and crop farming has a lot to do with cassava, maize, pepper, tomato, and other things that you can plant. I still have videos on palm trees, videos on cashew, orange, and videos of banana down the youtube channel so we have a lot of ways you can invest in agriculture you can check some of the video and watch them and i believe they are going to help you well number one what are the causes of crackhead causes of crackhead are from two main source two main source others are not useful because i've seen some people who told me it is lack of uh is it calcium it is lack of vitamin C, it is lack of this, it is lack of that. It is... So at the end of everything, after gad gathering all the ideas, I noticed that the ideas are not the reason, are not the cause of the crackhead. Because in my feed, in the feed I do, all these medicine are completed. They solve everything and they add everything to the feed that I'm using. So, it is none of the calcium or the vitamin or the premix or the mentholine, the lysine and so on and so forth. It is from two sources. Number one, the parent stock. Possibly if the brew stock, they used to hatch your fish, the fish you collected, the fish you bought, the juvenile you bought. If your catfish are from the parent that has something like that in the past there is 50 percent possibility that the sickness will surface when you collect the fish and rear them to some certain age there is 50 percent possibility for the sickness to surface why it's because they have the gene of their parent 
and their parents have already gone through such sickness before. That is why the fish you collected may be liable to crack it. So number one, the sickness is from the parents, the brew stock that they used to hatch your catfish. And number two, it is the feed you use. It is not the local feed that you are using that affects the crack head. So let nobody deceive you. It is the ingredients that you use that cause crack head. What are the ingredients that causes crack head in catfish local feed, sinking feed? They are two. Number one, it is the blood meal. Blood meal, I've been talking about blood meal. I think my partner also talked about blood meal too. The causes of blood meal, the effects of blood meal in catfish uh, feed. So, blood meal, that is number one. Blood meal has a lot to do with blood, the blood collected from the abattoir, you know, where they slaughter cows, slaughter pigs, slaughter goat, or slaughter anything. So, the blood that they gather together, they dry it and grind it, then they add it to the feed catfish feed should you not use blood meat at all yes you can use blood meat but for instance now you can just use like 10 out of the one ton 1000 kg of feed you are using you can just add like 10 kg of the blood meat into the 1000 kg feed you make number two it is poultry meat what is poultry meat poultry meat is a product of the waste Collected from the chicken, uh, what is it called? I've forgotten what they call it. The place that they kill chicken. So all the intestine that they get from that place, they dry it and they grind it. Then they package it. That is what we call poultry meal. The waste, the intestine, and all the kidney, everything that they get from the chicken. So they dry everything and grind it. Then they package it. So we use it for catfish feed. It is highly proteinous in nature. It is very, very good for your catfish. But too much of it cause head crack in catfish farming. I guess that was the mistake I made when I had this crack head over the fish that I stuck for someone. It's actually a very, very terrible experience because I've experienced it in the past before. I've experienced it, seen people experience it and they've battled to treat it and nobody has been successful. At the end of the day, they end up selling it out. You understand? So that was the mistake I made. When I went to my boss and I told my boss, I saw my catfish are having crack head. It was like, did you use poultry me? I said, yes. He said that is the cause and i sit down to reason that why is poultry meal the cause because i'm using dried poultry meal so and i sit down to you know think of my own as a farmer so what could be the cause of crackhead from poultry meal and i get to understand that poultry meal is from the intestine okay good the intestine has a lot to do with blood as well the heart the kidney from the chicken has a lot of blood as well so all those things together bind together grinded with the intestine and everything has blood inside it so you can see that there is no difference between blood me and poultry me those are the two major causes of crackhead in catfish farming let nobody deceive you if they are saying calcium is not enough maybe the feed meal you are making your feed doesn't know much about the calculation of the mentholine the lysine the dcp and premix lots more maybe they don't know much about it if they know much about it they will know how to calculate it so everything should be balanced at the feed me so if any feed me is just giving you feed without knowing all the ingredients that are supposed to go into the number of feed me you want to do in the feed me that means they don't know what they are doing it may likely be the cause of the crackhead so but those are the two major causes of crackhead and if i have given you feed formula before and I, I, although I don't make this mistake if I've given you this feed formula before that uh, you should use poultry meal please you can just divide it into two like if you want to use like 30 uh, kg of poultry meal inside your feed you can just divide it into two use 15 kg of poultry meal then use 15 kg of fish meal Fish meal should cause crack air too, but the reason why it is not causing crack air is because it has been smoked and therefore all the blood has been dried and everything that should cause crack air has been dried inside the catfish. That is the reason why catfish 
won't have cracked when you are giving them fish meal. Number two, how do you avoid crackhead in catfish business? It is very, very simple. Number one, I do tell you about pond preparation that you should prepare your pond time to time. I do tell you like when you crop your fish, the first thing you do is you let them to demold. Demolding is packing out the mold that is inside the pond. They pack out everything. And if you are using concrete tank, I do tell some of the people that have patronized me that you use salt to wash the concrete tank, then you leave it to dry. And if you are using tarpaulin, do the same. So use salt, add salt into the water you want to use to wash the tarpaulin, wash all the algae and all the dirty that is inside the tarpaulin and leave it to dry. Even for one day is okay. Then you fill it up with your water and you continue to stock your fish. So that is number one. Number two, the issue of inlet and outlet must be solved. Like water should be getting into your pond. It may not be daily, but twice in a week will be okay. That is why I do advise those people that are using concrete tanks that you refresh the water. Reduce the water to a half level, then fill it up with another one. And if you are using tarpaulin, it is the same thing. Reduce the water to a uh, medium level, then you fill it up with fresh water. And if you have the capacity to refresh your water, to recycle your water every day, so you can let your inlets be coming in and let the outlets be going out. That is, water will be coming through the pipe that leaks into your pond, and water will be going out of the pipe that link out of your pond. So those are the ways you can used to control it and number three avoid all the feed that i mentioned if you want to add it to your feed please add it at a minimum level not a maximum level reduce it to a lower level other feed ingredient let them to be much more than that of the poultry meal and that of the blood meal number three how dangerous is crackhead crackhead is very very dangerous if i should be frank with you it is not a good thing. It is not a good thing to experience in catfish business because it will discourage you. It will break you down, take you to a lower level, take you to square one and render you in a kind of jeopardy, like jeopardize all your plan and ruin your passion towards catfish farming. It is not a thing to experience at all. It is not a very good thing. It is not a good thing to experience in catfish farming. So it is very, very dangerous. In what way? Once this thing starts, it will start slowly, but you may not know. If care is not taken, like if you are not taking out your fish to check your fish, you may not know. And I told you how you can detect it. One, look at their forehead. If it is getting yellowish at the mid, like a, a kind of dissection, like if it is getting yellowing, like something is dissecting on their score and the thing is getting reddish in color, rather reddish in color, that is one of the signs. And if the thing is not getting reddish and you see the middle of their score just swell up, like it's, it's uh, appearing like a, a kind of a crack, like tending to dissect, that is another reason, another sign for you to know that your catfish are having crackhead. A crackhead free catfish will have their head smooth, black, and okay. Nothing will happen to them. The reason why this thing is very dangerous is it is highly contagious highly contagious other catfish that are inside the pond with the affected one can easily contract it from others especially if the feed is the cause of the crackhead then you should believe that all your catfish will have crackhead because they are getting it from the same feed and once it's spread it won't take it much time to start affecting them seriously it will affect them to some certain level whereby even if your catfish are just swimming and they hit their head on something like tap it small like this the head will break and if people come to your farm to crop like if they want to crop the catfish if net the neck they are using to drag the catfish should touch them small like this the head will crack if you carry them up and they are trying to struggle to leave you or to get out of your hands the head may crack. That means it has reached the level whereby you can no longer control it. So crackhead is very, very dangerous. Four, how do crackhead affect your catfish business? It will affect it in such a way that you will lose interest, number one. Number two, you are not going to make profit out of it. Like personal interest, you won't have interest like this business is a trash. So you won't have that interest in catfish business again. And number two, it will make you to lose your profit, even your capital. Because 
the amount the buyers will come and buy it will discourage you. It won't be encouraging because they will buy it at a smoking level. People will tell you, even the people that will buy it most will be the Aosa people. It won't be the number of people that used to buy it in table size. Even if your fish are weighing up to 2 point something kilos, if, if they are affected with crackhead, be sure that they are going to buy it at a smoking price. Because all the fish will be dead before they take it to the center, to where they want to sell it, to where they want to market it. So the people that will come and buy it at smoking size will just come, buy it and go and smoke it. So that is just how it affects this catfish farming. It is not something you can experience in this catfish uh, farming. So it is not good at all. That is that about the crackhead. So all you need to learn about crackhead is all I've told you. So about the treatment, I have not gotten all the necessary information and I don't want to bring you trash. So I will work on the information. It may take me time to dig deep and learn more about the crackhead, how to treat it and bring it to your view. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just turn on the notification bell. Stay tuned and keep on viewing our videos. I believe and I'm very, very sure. And I'm promising you at the same time that you are going to get the best on our YouTube channel here. I've told you how to avoid it. I told you the causes of it. I told you how to prevent it. I told you how to maintain your fish so that they don't have uh, the crackhead. And I told you the signs. And I told you how dangerous it affects it and how it affects the market. So that is that about the crack egg. My name is Simeon O. James. If you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me through the number you are seeing here. Just text me on WhatsApp or call me directly with my number. I'm going to pick and we are going to discuss whatever thing that is bothering you. Thank you so much for watching our video. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share. Also, drop a comment.